Hello my beautiful MK Love fam and welcome back to another episode. My name is Melanie Kate Love. I make videos every Monday and Thursday at 7am Australian Eastern Standard Time. Now I teach you how to learn to love yourself, flaws and all, trust your intuition which is what this whole weekly angel guidance segment is all about and to manifest your heart's true desires. So this week in weekly angel guidance we're going to be starting off from June the 18th to the 24th. Amazing week ahead. As always, there's always a positive spin to be put on each week. But we're going to be starting the week out in the crescent moon. This is asking us to refine our intentions and allow the universe to guide you in whatever direction that needs to be. Then on Wednesday, we move into the first quarter of the moon. This is the action stage of the moon phase. Your affirmation is, I take inspired action and allow the universe to guide me. So that's exciting. So it's like we had the new moon, we worked out our intentions, we wrote down exactly what steps we needed to take. Then Wednesday, we start putting that into action. Then on Sunday, we're going to be moving into the gibbous moon. This is when we trust. So your affirmation is, I trust the process as everything is always working out for me. And I say that to you guys every single week and saying, I am where I am and it's okay. I surrender to the process and I set myself free. So they're the three different moon phases we're going to be focusing on this week. And I have my Shadowscapes Tarot, which I'm going to be using today. And this is just a general reading. So just take from this what feels best for you. Maybe every single card that I pull resonates with you or maybe just one. It's just a general reading. So just get a feel for it. You'll basically know by the end of this reading, you'll have something that will be ingrained into your subconscious and you're like, you won't be able to stop thinking about it. And that's exactly what you need to basically used to move forward and to bloom, to prosper, to grow and become this beautiful butterfly. Because you know what? We're all on this self-love journey together and we are doing the very best we can with the knowledge and understanding that we have at the time. So if you've been going through a difficult week, this is a fresh start. This is a new day. And yeah, as Michael Bublé say, it's a new day, it's a new day, dawn, it's a new life. For me and I'm feeling good all right let's get on to yeah let's have a look at the crescent moon so what do we need to know for the crescent moon angels what do my MK blood fam need to know what do they need to know Oh, we got the Ace of Wands. This is perfect for so many reasons. The Ace is a new beginning. Considering we just had the new moon in Gemini, it's perfect because it's like, yeah, we're, and also Wands is passion. So you're starting this new journey or this new intention based on things that set your soul on fire. It's also the three wolves, or oh no, three foxes. It's like they're very protective of this. This is like their little baby that they're working on. Maybe this is something that you have been thinking about starting for a long time. And now you're like, you know what? Stuff it. I'm going to do it. Like, I'm honestly going to do it. I'm going to invest in my self-love makeover and I'm going to make myself a priority. What do I need to do today that my future self is going to thank me for? And this is what you're doing. To me, this is so many things. There's a lot going on for me right now. It's like I've just started yoga. Yoga is now my new little hobby that keeps me mentally sane and grounded, makes me feel amazing in terms of like Ace of Wands, a new beginning. It's not really a passion, but going back to teaching will give me the financial security and the stability so I can invest more back into my business. Oh, there's just lots going on. Let's get clarity. Clarity on Ace of Wands, please, angels. Clarity. Oh, thank you very much. Ooh. Aha. Uh -huh. Ooh, we've got... Ah, there's two cards that popped out. The first one that I saw is Seven of Wands. Now, we have had this, I'd probably say in the last month, 
the seven of wands this is like protecting like a mama bear protecting her baby little cubs it's like you're protecting what is so dear to you and maybe this is protecting it could be protect protecting your mental health it could be protecting your children if you're a parent it could be protecting your loved one it could be what are you what is it that you're going to fight for like what are you honestly going to say um what was that song uh, i heard that song ain't nothing gonna break my stride ain't nothing gonna slow me down oh no i got to keep on moving ain't nothing gonna break yeah it's like you gotta keep on moving it's like you're not gonna allow fear you're not gonna allow somebody to dictate you because last week we had a lot about judgment and rebirth and the devil card and, and there was like a whole lot of fear coming up and it's like you know what i am where i am and it's okay i am working to protect myself i'm protecting my energies i am protecting my future i'm investing in my future Maybe investing is probably a, best, a better way to say it. It's like you are doing what you need to do because your future self is going to thank you for. If you're trying to lose weight, which I know quite a few of you actually are because I've been getting a lot of messages on my Instagram and a lot of you are saying that like, Mel, I need help losing weight and I'm listening to your self talk and I'm like, dude, there's a lot of blockages. Are you actually acting as if you are already fit and healthy because if you are, then you are exercising, you are eating well, you're looking after your mental health, you know, you're doing whatever you can to make yourself feel amazing. Because what happens when you're in that state? It raises your vibration. When you're at the top on the emotional guidance scale, you've moved from fear and depression all the way up to love, joy, peace, happiness, and bliss. When you're at that, there's no resistance in your vibration. And when you're at that state more often, your intentions begin to manifest super duper quick into your reality. It's amazing. Okay, so this is good. So it's like you're starting a new chapter and now you're being fiercely protective. You're protecting your energy. You're putting in the balance that you need and the structure, it's kind of like the emperor, putting in the balance and the structure to help you on your journey so you can achieve your dreams. Oh my God. And then we got the Ace of Pentacles and the abundance is going to be coming because you are fiercely protective over what sets your soul on fire. Whoa. So you guys must have set some, set some pretty fabulous intentions. Oh my God. Actually, I was reading your comments um, for Weekly Age of Guidance. As you guys know, during the Balsamic Moon, I don't respond to YouTube comments. I take four days off social media to clear my head and reconnect my body, my mind, and my soul. And when I came back, I started going through the, the comments and I was just blown away what you guys wrote. I was like, yes, my MK Love fam, you are amazing. So this is, this is great. I'm so excited. I'm always excited because there's always something. It's like no matter what happens, you know, there's always a silver lining. There is always. When you're going through hell, there, it's a blessing in disguise. It's preparing you for what you have asked for. Ooh, ooh, no. This is the five of pentacles. This is like, stop crying over spilt milk. You know, I am where I am and it's okay. Okay, so you just need to basically look up. There's a butterfly around you. There's a chameleon very, very close. There is so much abundance. Like look at this circle up here and there's a little what is on top of it there's like a little what is that star of david i don't even know if you guys know you can just let me know in the comments but there's abundance around you you need to look up maybe you've become so ingrained in this attack kind of protection mode this could be like this could be you know, if somebody like rustles your feathers, then something doesn't sit well with you and you get fired up. Um, I've noticed I've been getting a lot, I've been triggered a lot easier. Um, maybe because Mars is going retrograde shortly and it's to do with communication and I don't know. I just feel like I've been, I haven't been as nice as I normally am. And I'm like, why is this happening? What? is this discomfort within me and what do I need to do to release it? Because, you know, if someone is reacting a certain way, it's not a reflection of you, it's a reflection of them. It's like, why was that person rude to you? Is there something going on that you don't know about? This could be somebody at work, this could be your partner, this could be anyone in your family or your friends. But there is abundance around you, you have to look up. 
feel like you just I feel like now we're getting into the action the action phase it's like you have to look up stop maybe this is like maybe you're always a planner but like you're a really good talker but you don't talk the talk the walk the talk talk the talk I don't know you say stuff but you don't follow through that's basically what I'm saying and maybe this is a reminder it's like okay you said you're going to build this empire <laughs> which I say all the time and someone's like what do you do what do you do all day building an empire I'm building an empire I'm building a business that I'll be able to scale so that one point in my life no not at one point I will be able to get to a point in my life where I make money while I sleep more money while I sleep um, yeah so there's abundance around you maybe this attack is like a divine intervention too Hmm, I wonder what's coming up for you guys. There's so many messages that are coming through. Okay, what else do we need to know? Ace of Wands, Seven of Wands, Ace of Pentacle, Five of Pentacle. What? Whoa, okay, thanks. Ah, you guys just need some strength. <laughs> need some strength. I heard something really. No, I'm not going to repeat it, it's a bit rude. <laughs> Okay, so you gotta find your inner strength. How do you find your inner strength? What makes you feel really, really good about yourself? This is like, I think the inner strength comes from knowing that you already are perfect. You were literally born into this world in pure, positive energy. And along the way, some of you have forgotten who you are. And what you, what I feel like the whole, our whole life's mission is being on earth is, is, is reconnecting back with ourself, reconnecting back with our inner child, reconnecting back with our true authentic self, who we were born into this world to be, but we've just forgotten it because we're inundated with so much media. You know, you need to find that strength, harness that strength because, you know, when you get this, I just hear that song, I got the eye of the tiger, even though it's a lion. Dance into the fire Cause I am a champion Yes we are Yes we are <laughs> Yeah we've got to harness this inner strength And we need this inner strength a lot Because this new journey that we're on Is not only bringing this new passion And this new abundance But we're navigating territories That we haven't really ventured into before Or haven't ventured into the level On which we're now at And I feel like in order to find this inner strength, this is a time where we truly, truly need to have those supports and structures in place with your self-love practice. Like, why do you think I've gone back to yoga now? I had a break for like a year. I would say a year and a half I had a break from yoga. How bad is that? Yeah. It's so like, how do you find your strength? I find my strength by meditating, going to yoga, going outside, watching sunrise, being with my beautiful partner. He gives me that inner strength. Maybe do you have people around you that can help you, help you find your inner strength? Who do you surround yourself with? Are you surrounding yourself with strong, feminine and masculine energies? Or are you surrounding yourself with people that are like constantly attacking you? Where you feel like you have to protect yourself it's like you don't need to explain yourself to nobody you already are fabulous people may not see your vision but you are destined for greatness and if you were in alignment with your true authentic self like you're listening to your intuition and your intuition says put your alarm on at five o'clock mel and get out of bed and drive in the dark to yoga and set your yoga mat, mat, mat up and do some stretches before class starts then that's what i need to do what do you need to do Did you get that? <laughs> All right, clarity please angels. Can we have clarity on the strength card please? I feel like the strength card is gonna happen probably in the action phase of the moon. What else do we need to know for the strength? What do we need to combine the strength with? Love. All you need is love. Ba, 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 ba. Well. I had about 20 cards full, but this one was very prominent. Ah, yes! It's the star. When you wish upon a star, it don't matter who you are. Yeah, 
That's your dreams. Your dreams and desires harnessed with that strength, that inner strength, that body, that mind, and that soul. Ooh, the body strength could come from working out because if you're working out, you're strengthening your muscles. Like I don't go to yoga to get a hot body. That's just a byproduct. <laughs> You know, I go to yoga because it helps my mental strength. It makes me feel good. And plus, I've actually found a studio, which I have a teacher on Thursday and Friday mornings, and she actually has a, um, a Tibetan singing bowl, which is tuned to the root chakra, which is perfect for grounding and stability. Um, yeah, and combine those two together, it's like I'm going to be an unstoppable force because I know that this is going to help me long term and I'm acting as if I'm already a fully booked successful coach. Yeah. Yeah. You gotta find that in the strength. It's like you are you are flipping fabulous. Like I can't say that enough. If only you saw yourself the way that the universe, God, divine, Buddha, Jesus saw you. Like just imagine that. And it's crazy because when I have clients, I see their beauty before they see it and it's like it's like you hold space for them until they see it and then you get this email and it goes, Mel, you would not believe what happened. And I was like, I told ya, you're fabulous. I get that a lot in regards to people manifesting their, their partner, long-term partner. It's like, oh, guess what, Mel? I met Mr. Right, not Mr. Right now. I got rid of Mr. Right now because he's not serving my highest good. You know, he's just a casual, you know? So crazy because I so got caught up in that scene when I was learning to rebuild myself getting caught up in the whole like one night stand I was like what are you doing and I just feel so empty after it. and I was like what the hell that was a very long time ago but I still remember that stage okay I'll stop talking I've been getting this card all week for myself it's the high priestess the high priestess is beautiful she's nurturing I don't like the the artwork on this card, I don't think it depicts the the um, the high priestess enough. She's like in rags and she's just, I just don't like it. I just feel like this card needs to be more feminine. But the energies that I get from the high priestess is an opportunity for you to reconnect back in. How do you reconnect back in? Is that through meditation? Um, speaking of meditation, do you remember that video that I made on my series Life of a Spiritual Soul on YouTube and I showed you how I created my meditation which at the time I called Reset, I don't know what it's called. Anyways, I found that on my phone the other day and I listened to it and I was like, holy flip, that is literally the best meditation I have ever made and that is going to be available for only my coaching clients because it's like I just want them to feel special and I don't want everyone to have it. If that sounds terrible to say, but I want people that are investing in their self-love practice and taking it seriously and are doing the work. And I feel like, oh, I just can't wait to give it to them. So yeah, meditation is key. All right, what else do we need to know? So we, okay, let's do a quick recap. So you're starting this new chapter and you're protecting what you know is right for you by putting in this, the structure and supports for it. And you're finding this new abundance. This new abundance could come from like freedom, mentally, physically. I don't know. How does that look for you? You need to look up because there is so much abundance around you. The way you're going to see that abundance is by flexing that self-love muscle, finding that inner strength of your body, your mind and soul, because your intentions are going to come true. You need to reconnect back with yourself through your intuition, meditation, however you meditate like oh, however that looks oh by the way in my yoga class they do the om I was like yes activate the third eye chakra <laughs> it's so cool because like a whole room of women resonating oh it's just amazing and then they go shanti 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 I was like you guys sing as well like yay Anyway, I haven't met any friends yet. I haven't made an effort to make friends, but I saw this one girl the other day. I was like, oh, you look like a male friend. Oh yeah, I'm gonna try and manifest getting more classes with you. She just looked cool. Plus, she just looked like, anyway, I'll stop talking. Okay, cards, okay. Okay, clarity please, angels. What else do we need to know for the Gibbous Moon, the trusting phase? How do we trust? 
we surrender. <laughs> How do we surrender? Meditate. Oh, right, okay. That was very much like, do it. Okay. So the two cards that I saw was the hanged man, which is changing your perspective, changing the way you are looking at something. Maybe your perspective has changed after you started flexing your self-love muscle, working out physically, mentally, spiritually, you're finding that strength. And I feel like your perspective is going to change. I feel like these two are kind of like brother and sister. I feel like these two are perfect for each other. You start looking at things from a different perspective by flexing your self-love muscle, which puts you in a high vibration, and you're gonna be able to see this abundance around you. It's like, peekaboo, hello, you know? I think that's amazing. Then the other card that came out, holy heck, holy heck, is the king of wands. You start doing everything that we've spoken about, and you're going to be the king of wands. You're gonna conquer your passions, you're gonna conquer your fears, you're going to be vibrating on the frequency of love, you're going to be, you'll have more respect for yourself, and I feel like other people are going to respect you as well. Like, just screenshot this one here. Oh my God, can you hashtag king of wands? Hashtag King of Wands right now in the comment section because this is a powerful card. This is the person that you are becoming. You may be seeing glimpses of this person. You may already be this person after this week. It just depends which stage of your journey. Oh my gosh, my loves. I'm going to leave it there because I think that's a beautiful place to finish on. I feel like the King of Wands is like the trusting trusting that you are going to become this beautiful king of wands because you are amazing you are fabulous you are pure positive energy and we're just going to reconnect back in going to do some meditation i think the strengths card is so important hmm. i feel like this week's reading is, is all about this card finding this inner strength Ooh. Anyways, my love, please comment down below which card resonated the most to you. Let me give you a quick recap. Was it the, actually, let me just get all of these up. And then you can just screenshot which one is your favorite. And if you're my beautiful Celine, who writes these down in the most beautiful typography ever, oh my gosh, please send me video messages on Instagram. So, which card resonates with you the most? Get ready to screenshot. I'll try and get my face out. <laughs> oh, beautiful week, my loves. I'm so excited for you. I'm so excited to read what you're going to write about everything that you're going through. It's a beautiful week. Everything is working out for you. Everything is working out for you. You just trust the process. Trust the process. Reconnect back in with your higher self. Change the way you look at things. Maybe you've been looking at things the wrong way. Maybe you need an outside perspective. Maybe you need to speak to somebody different. Oh, and then the King of Wands, which is what this whole reading is about. Anyways, my love, thank you so much for watching Weekly Angel Guidance. If you are new to the MK Love fam, please hit that red subscribe button because I know there's a lot of you that just watch and just pop off. Subscribe so you never miss another episode. And if you haven't already, make sure you hit that bell so you're notified every single time I upload a video because for those of you that had that turned on, you would have caught my Q&A tea time live, which I did on the new moon. And thank you so much to each and every one of you that literally turned up for that live. That was my first live on YouTube. I go live more often in my Instagram account. But it was just lovely to chat with you for like 44 minutes. It was amazing. And thank you so much for all the questions that you have written um, on that live and for all the questions and all of the beautiful comments that you leave down below because I appreciate you so much. I appreciate you so much. And our beautiful MK Love Fam is almost a 20K. So if you wanna help us get there quicker, make sure you hit that subscribe button because I would love you to join our beautiful MK Love Fam. We're a beautiful bunch of high vibe souls and if you're new, just scroll down and read the comments um, and you'll be able to see what our beautiful MK Love fam is all about. Anyways, my love, 
have an amazing week. If you have any questions, comment them down below. Make sure you're following me over on Instagram because I'll be giving you um, lots of delicious goodness throughout the week. And yeah, how exciting. Yes. All right. I love you and I'll see you soon. Goodbye.